PCBs, which are indispensable for today's electronic devices, offer many advantages compared to traditional wired circuits. In this video, I will explain many details from what the printed circuit board is to its structure. The PCB abbreviation comes from the initials of the English words printed circuit board. PCB stands for printed circuit board, which is a board made of typically fiberglass or plastic insulating material that is used to mechanically support and electrically connect electronic components using conductive pathways, or traces, etched onto the surface of the board. PCBs are widely used in a variety of electronic devices, ranging from simple calculators to complex computer systems. They are often designed using specialized software and manufactured using automated processes that involve layering, etching, and drilling. The design and layout of a PCB can have a significant impact on the performance and reliability of an electronic system and is therefore an important aspect of electronic engineering. PCBs can be single-sided, double-sided, or multi-layered, depending on the complexity of the system and the number of components that need to be connected. Printed circuit boards are the basis of all devices, from the single-layer boards we open the garage door to, to the double-layer boards in phones and smartwatches, to the multi-layer boards in supercomputers and servers. PCB applications also appear in industrial and commercial electronics. For example, with the use of PCBs, safer and lighter products such as drones, cameras, and mobile electronic devices are produced. PCBs offer many advantages over traditional wired circuits. PCBs have mechanical advantages such as durability, less heating, and minimal use of cables. Printed circuit boards are simpler to assemble than traditional circuits and offer the opportunity to design engineering applications more easily and freely. It also reduces the dimensions of electronic devices by simplifying the circuit elements. It also has advantages such as ease of maintenance and repair, and reduction of electrical noise in high-frequency circuits. Mass production of electronic devices has also accelerated significantly with the use of PCBs. A PCB is a single-layer or multi-layer board with flat, rigid, and insulating properties, with conductors and thin structures on it. These layers are screen printing, solder mask, copper and flame retardant known as FR4, joined together by heat and adhesive. Another layer is thin copper foil which is on both sides of the substrate on a quality PCB. The solder mask on the copper foil gives the PCB green or red colors so that the copper traces do not come into contact with other materials incorrectly. Thanks to the screen printing layer, the ease of assembly is provided and indicators such as numbers and symbols are added to the PCB. PCBs have different types depending on the type of board and the material from which they are made. They are divided into single or double-sided PCBs according to whether the conductor patterns are on both sides of the board. Double-sided PCBs require special bridges to connect the patterns on both sides of the board. There are multiple design types in PCB production. There are elements that must be determined before and during the manufacture and design of a PCB. These are factors such as in which area the PCB will be used, in what environment it will work, its flexibility, mounting, installation, space required for installation, and amount of configuration. A correct production and design process has a positive effect on PCB quality, efficiency, and production time. There are steps followed in PCB manufacturing facilities. The manufacturing process begins with chemically imaging and etching the copper layers. The purpose here is to connect electronic components. Holes are created in the PCB to connect the layers together. These holes are covered and other coatings are applied to the card. After the necessary coatings are made, naming marks are printed on the PCB and the boards are processed according to the size of the Gerber file of the design. The concept, called Gerber file, is a type of file used in PCB production. The Gerber file tells the manufacturer that the solder mask, 
copper, etc., contains information about two-dimensional drawings that provide information about its location. You can print the PCB you need at affordable prices on the sponsor of this video, JLC PCB site. After entering the PCB layers, dimensions and quantity information according to your needs, you can easily place your order by uploading your circuit diagram file to the site. You can find the link of the site, the coupon code offered to you and more details in the comments section of this video. Here you see the package contents of an order and sample PCB designs. We need a PCB drawing program to design an electronic board. There are many PCB programs available in the market, and most of these programs are paid, but there are also many free programs you can use. Now let's talk about some of these programs and finish the video. The most well-known of these programs is KiCad. This program is open source software for creating electronic schematic diagrams and making printed circuit boards. It is designed for everyone to do electronic design work. KiCad is one of the best known free electronics and PCB design programs. Backed by leading organizations like Raspberry Pi and Arduino, KiCad has an active community. This open source program has a powerful set of features that meet the needs of both beginners and experts. Another program is Easy EDA. This program is a relatively new add-on supported by the JLC PCB and many major electronic component suppliers. The functionality includes schematic capture, simulation, PCB layout, and simple visualization tools. It's cloud-based, so it's easy to use on the go and work collaboratively with others. EasyEDA is not an open source program, and the free standard version is partially supported by ads. Another program is Fritzing, which most of us know. Rooted in the open source hardware movement, Fritzing offers a different approach from other free PCB design tools to make electronics accessible to everyone and encourage hands-on tampering. The latest version includes a version of the circuit simulation and enhanced multilingual support. It includes easy-to-use functionality. It supports simple circuits and provides tools for converting designs to solderless breadboards, soldered strip boards, or PCBs. Its unique and simple approach makes it worthy of consideration for simple projects and classroom use. This is the basic structure of PCBs. You can do your own work by starting the PCB drawing and printing processes, or you can develop it as a business. I hope this video gives you a baseline about PCBs. Hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye.